My name is Steve, and today I'm going to do some experimenting on my 3D printer with some glow-in-the-dark filament. So I'm going to take you through the steps, some of the settings, do some lapse time videos, and I've got a few things that I want to try. So first is the glow-in-the-dark filament. So I have purchased uh, Amelin. I uh, got this on Amazon, and this is 1.75 millimeter roll, comes out white, almost clear, glows in the dark. Uh, recommended settings are print temperatures 190 to 220 degrees Celsius, speed 30 to 60 millimeters a second. So this is a multicolor filament, so it also changes color depending on uh, how much is extruded and built into the model. But the other thing that I wanted to try while doing this is seeing how are some different options to capture the lapse time video of the actual print. And so I have purchased, in order to get the glow in the dark to work, you need a UV light. So I have purchased a UV light. While you can leave this exposed to lights and it'll glow in the dark, uh, it's best under a UV light. So think of your black light posters and those types of things. So between the filament, the UV light, my camera, we're going to do some experimentation on some lapse time videos of glow in the dark filament. Okay, so here are the 3D printed objects from the glow-in-the-dark material. I was really happy with the output. A few minor things could be with the uh, model, could be with my profiles and settings, but the center tower in here, you can hear it rattling around, that did break loose partway through the print, but the outside, the look and feel came out really good. The letters came out good. I did on Karen's, and I think you can probably see this, but where it's darker here, so this is a translucent material. You can kind of see through it. So I added some sand partway through the print, and I do that to add some weight. Since the letters have a little overhang, I didn't want them tipping over. So I put some sand in there uh, so you can see that during the day. But then when its lights go out, uh, hopefully shouldn't be a problem. So I thought it was very cool filament. Pretty neat the way you're able to get the different colors at the different layer heights. So I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. Uh, took a little bit of effort to get the glow in the dark along with the camera for every layer but I was pretty happy with the way it turned out. First time I've tried something like that. So if you're interested in how I did that, leave some comments. Uh, if you enjoyed this, if it helped you in any way with putting together and getting some visuals on the glow in the dark uh, material, 
appreciate a like, subscribe to see some of my other uh, videos, and we'll see you soon.